George. How y'all been? Good, good. Hey, fix your place up. Looking snazzy. Oh, thanks. Even got a new water core. It's got those pointy cups. Look like Madonna's bra. <laughs> so, what's going on with your truck other than the fact it's got 130,000 miles on it? She's been running hot. I'm worried I need a new radiator. As your friend and neighbor, I hope not, but as a businessman, that'd be pretty sweet. It could just be the thermostat not opening right. That is correct. And how'd you know that? I took auto repair last year. And you actually paid attention? I'm as surprised as you are. All right, good news. Tell me. Well, the kid was right. It's just the thermostat. Yeah, yeah. So how long to fix it? Nothing. 20 minutes. Can I help? Well, sure. Grab yourself a pair of coveralls and have at it. Thanks. Really? I'm paying you so my own son can fix my truck? Well, we could have my son do it, but we know how that's going to end. Hey, you up for some company? Sure. Come on in. Sorry about the light beer, but Brenda's got me on this health kick. You are melting away. Shut up. So listen, I feel bad about Georgie and this whole football thing. Thanks, but it's not on you. I appreciate that, but you got to know there's an upside to this. And that would be? Your son has got a special gift. A gift? We are talking about Georgie, right? Yeah. I mean, first off, the kid really knows his way around an engine, which is all well and good. But when it comes to fixing tires, I swear, I've never seen anything like it. Tires? How do you mean? George, I've been patching flats for 25 years. You know, slap some soapy water on them, look for the air bubble. But your son, he doesn't need any tricks. He knows where the puncture holes are. He knows? He knows. He's got a sixth sense for tire damage. I mean, you gotta see him in action. It'll give you chills. You're not to say it. Whenever we had a leaky football, he knew exactly where the hole was. I am telling you, your boy's got a future in the tire business. Goodyear, Firestone, somebody's gonna scoop him up first round. Thanks, sir. That does my heart good. So I guess you got two geniuses in the family. Yes, I do. Who knows, maybe Missy will make it three. Or it's two. <laughs> oh, my love, my darling, I've hungered for your Talk to me. Tell me where it hurts. So wait, your brother is Dr. Tire? Yes, and apparently it only takes half a semester of community college to get that particular doctorate. We passed three of these stores on the way here. Why did you say he's just some loser who sells tires? You're right, that was unfair. He's a loser who sells more tires than anyone in Texas. Oh, excuse me, uh, we're looking for a Georgie Cooper. One second, I'll check to see if the doctor's in. He is not a doctor. There's only one doctor here and it's me. I'm also a doctor. You wanna wait in the car? I want him to wait in California. So, is this Georgie? Yes. And what is he even using that stethoscope to listen to? I don't know. Small leak? All right, that makes sense. <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? Hello, Georgie. It's just George now. Fine. George. No, I don't like it. Georgie? <laughs> See, you haven't changed one bit. Thank you. That is a nice thing to say. <laughs> Uh-huh, okay, okay. All right, listen, I hear you. I know they're pricey, but these are the Dallas Cowboys of tires, okay? And we're talking the Troy Aikman Cowboys, not that pretty boy, Tony Romo. <laughs> All right, good call. You won't regret it. Boom! <laughs>
<laughs> wow, that was impressive. Yeah, well, it's easy when you love your product and hate Tony Romo. I have nothing to apologize for. Huh. I told you this was a bad idea. Sometimes you can't patch a tire, you just gotta buy a new one. Actually, that's always the case. Never patch, buy new. <laughs> While I appreciate your folksy tire wisdom,